All right, hello everyone. Welcome to this third match between teams five and seven in the Zodiac division. Team five having a win and team seven having a loss, but a close win. Anyways, to introduce the teams once again, in case you forgot, it, they, the first unit consists of Tecto Goblin the Thief, Gio the Wizard, Santos the Monk, and Elise the Lancer. Now for this next team, team seven, we have Sapira the Wizard, Fanatic the Monk, Super Divan the Oracle, and Easy Modex Z the Monk with martial arts. But then again, he can't have any other support ability, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, just to point out some of the compatibilities, these two, this thief and this wizard, they have bad compatibility with the, the Cyperia. Uh, even with bad compatibility, a base damage of 240 in neutral compatibility, Three quarters that damage is 180. So unless Tacto Goblin is at full or nearly full health, he's going to get one hit KO'd. Jiu is still unfortunately going to get one hit KO'd by that. Um, she also has good compat with a Lancer. And good compat, <clears throat> a quarter times 240 is 300 damage. So the Lancer is going to get one hit KO no matter what if he gets hit. Uh, other compats, this uh, monk right here has good compat with Tactile Goblin, so I don't know how much of an impact that'll make, but it sure will make a difference. I'm inclined to believe so. Uh, I just noticed that now this Oracle has bad compat with the Lancer, so, I mean, despite the 70 Faith, the shots are going to be a little bit harder um, just to land because of the compatibility. Uh, I know there's more, but I don't want to list everything. It would take ages. Um... Random number generator is giving us uh, terminate for our map. Uh, the teams are a little bit spread out. Uh, okay, well, they're not necessarily in clusters. Uh, looks like Fnax, yeah, Fnax in the blue, and Techno Goblin's team is in the white. Or black, my bad. Ouch. She's gonna die. Uh, looks like with a charge, charge shot. I wonder what he's casting. The wizard, the male wizard. Because he's targeting his own unit, too. Maybe it's because she's gonna die. I'm not too sure. Oh, she lives. Okay, protect. And it hits this time. Surprising. Well, it's one for one, so that's an even trade. I think, ultimately, it's gonna come down to whether Phonetic's team... Uh, it's gonna come down to the female wizard, whether she survives or not. If she survives, I think Fnatic will take this victory. If not... I think uh, it'll be a 2 0 for Tacto Goblin's team. 240 once again. Yeah. So it is a 2 on 3 at the moment. Jump. Very smart of the Lancer to get out of the way. Uh, okay, another life drain just to suck his blood. 73, pretty good. It took a quarter of all of his life. Uh, Wizard is down. She does have Blade Grasp. I mean, even though the Lancer is Concentrate, she's got Blade Grasp. Hence the 65%. Mm, is she gonna get- yep, it's over. Alright, well that was a very quick round, so it looks like the next team was able to get a little bit of Retribution. That's right. I will see you guys for the next fight between teams 6 and 8, I guess. Yep. Alright, hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this fourth match in the Zodiac Division between teams 6 and 8. So... To introduce this team once again, Team 6, we have Frog Knight BP the Knight, Bastard Poetry, Sir Frog Dash the Lancer, Sir Dash, Rockstar Leo the Time Age, and Lold Bolts the Geomancer. Now for Team 8, we have Philly All Day the Lancer, Sobe the Geomancer, Phil Sob the Oracle, and Walter's Meow the Chemist. Not Walter. My bad from the last video. Um, I don't really want to point out compats. I think it's going to be kind of a common sense thing. But when you look at this, these four units on top, none of them have any form of resurrection whatsoever. So once they're down, they're down for the count. Um, whereas this team that includes most notably Filsov, and I just noticed he's the only unit that doesn't have a form of resurrection, Time Magic and Yin Yang. Geomancer is White Magic, Item, and Item. And... The chemist is able to break weapons as well as uh, MP with magic break. So once these, I mean, basically, I think that Philsoft's team is going to win this. 
I can't, I can't imagine, I can't really imagine uh, Sir Dash's team coming back from it unless he gets lucky with frogs. And that's one thing to know, everybody has 70 faith except the Geomancer and Master Poetry's team, Lowboats, he has 60 faith, so faiths are going to be pretty high. And I do believe that's going to kill. It should, with that gunshot. Oh, 76% frog, alright. Alright, a lot of spells are being thrown around, so I'm not too sure. Oh, damn, really? Oh. That sucks. And wow, but one hit KO jump, Jesus. That could have. Yeah, that could have clinched it for uh, faster poetry, but now it's just between these two tanks. And I don't think it's really gonna happen. Alright, it don't act. Let's see if the frog hits. There's gotta be at least one frog from this team. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at him. Look at him Victory! jumping up and down. Holy shit. <laughs> He's like on steroids or something. Just look. Oh, wow. Do your job. They had the freaking Maiden's Kiss. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh. That's too bad. Yep. This is gonna be a queeps, uh, quick sweep. They're both don't acted. They're going down, so. Yeah, not much else to say here, really. That frog could have made somewhat of an impact. Um, it especially would have made an impact on the item users, provided they got, they got hit. But it doesn't matter. One more hit, it's over. Wow, very quick round. I will see you guys for the next, uh, the next two battles later this uh, evening, like at midnight. Yep. I'll, uh, see you until then.